everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name's claire and this is yoli and welcome to episode two of our houseplant tour uk series where we go all around the uk visiting different houseplant shops garden centers searching for the best plants the best prices and giving you little mini tours as we go Today we're off to Finden Garden Centre in Sussex. I've done a little recce of it before I went and it looks absolutely gorgeous so I'm really really excited. So I just got back and I bought some plants. I forgot to say at the beginning of this video as well, but if there's anywhere specific that you'd like to see featured in this series at some point, then drop me a comment down below and let me know. It can be a houseplant shop, a garden center, a greenhouse, <laughs> a really cool house with lots of plants, whatever it is, just drop me a comment and I will do my best at some point to feature it in this little mini series. Also, if you want to be kept up to date with future episodes, I'll link the playlist with all of the videos in, in the description box below. So Finden Garden Center, I it was really really impressed if I'm being honest like I thought their selection of stock was absolutely beautiful it was a lot more than I was expecting like a lot of the time when you go into garden centers it can be a bit limited but they had a load of really really beautiful plants kind of ranging in prices but I didn't think anything was kind of extortionate I thought it was all pretty fairly priced I will show you some of the things that I got so as you probably saw Yoli picked up this which has she's only had it for less than 24 hours and it's not looking great. It's not a dog toy. It's, I don't know what it is. I mean, obviously it's a children's toy, but it's scented, like it smells like vanilla. And I think that's why she went for it. But yeah, she's not gonna be having this unsupervised because obviously it's a bit like choke hazardy with these eyes. I did think about like taking the eyes off, but that seems a bit brutal. So yeah, she got that. She is over the moon with it. Also, if you can hear a really loud crunching at the moment, she's got a chew to try and distract her from this. But yes, that is that is what Yoli got. So where shall I start? Okay, so I the first thing I got was this Marble Queen Pothos, which I just absolutely love. You guys know how much I love a Pothos plant. I know it's one of the cheapest, most common plants you can get, but I just love them. I've got my, oh, no, you can kind of see the reflection. I've got my um, golden Pothos there, which has grown so quickly. And I just think the Marble Queen is so beautiful. Like the variegation on those leaves is just stunning. This one was £5.49, which I think is pretty fair. Like they're not expensive plants, but I was, I was happy with that. So yeah, I'm excited to see this one grow. I've still kind of got these in isolation at the moment and will do for the next couple of weeks. I've just brought them through here to show you. But yeah, that is plant number one. 
The next one I got is this Syngonium, which is just so, so, so beautiful. I don't know why I'm really loving Syngoniums at the moment. Like I've always liked them, but in the last few months I've got loads of them. I've got a few cuttings of like different ones. And this one I'm pretty sure is a white butterfly. It just says plants mix, plants mix feel green on it. But I'm pretty sure this is Syngonium butterfly, white butterfly. And yeah, it's just so beautiful. Its leaves are just so delicate and gorgeous. So yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with this. This was £12.49, which again, I, I don't think is a bad price. I was, I was pretty happy with this. So yeah, it is desperately in need of a drink though. The soil is literally, holy, the soil is literally bone dry. So I'm going to give it a good water, keep it in isolation for a while, and I will keep you updated with all of these. Next plant. So this next one's a plant that I've actually never seen before and I saw it and I literally fell in love with it. It's a streptocarpus and it's commonly known as pretty turtle and you can totally see why it's got these gorgeous kind of turtley patterns on its leaves. And yeah, it's just, oh, I just am absolutely in love with it. I, you probably can't tell on camera, but its leaves are so, so soft. Like they've got loads of tiny little hairs all over them and they're just... They're like rabbit's ears. They're so, so, so soft. And I'm really annoyed because I actually picked one that was like perfect. It didn't have any breakages. And then on the drive home, this broke. It's quite a fragile plant. So yeah, but I mean, it's got lots of new growth coming in in the middle there. So I feel like it's going to bounce back just fine. And I also feel like I got a really good price on this plant. So this was £14.49. And I did a little Google and I saw some kind of a similar size going for kind of 20, 30 pounds. So I feel like this is actually a really, a really good deal. And oh, just look at it. It, it. like It almost doesn't look real. It's just so, so, so pretty. I um, found this old pot that I'm not using. I didn't buy this from the garden centre. I just found it. And I've put it in the middle of my table as kind of like a centrepiece at the moment because it's kind of away from my other plants. But it's just stunning. When I first saw it, I kind of thought it might be a violet, like an African violet of some sort. I'm really, really chuffed for this. I just think it is the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plant. It is also apparently non-toxic, which is great. We always love a good non-toxic plant. And another one that I got that is also non-toxic is this lipstick plant, which I've always known as the Black Pagoda, but it's actually its Latin name is it only says Ace Cananthus. I think it's Ace Cananthus marmoratus, but I might be wrong about that. I will check that and I'll put the name in somewhere. But it is just gorgeous. Some of them were actually flowering and I was so tempted to go for one that was flowering. But in the end, I went for one that was kind of just a little bit fuller, bushier and will hopefully give me some lovely flowers at some point. But I don't know. The camera never does things justice. Sorry about the crunching. But yeah, the leaves are just absolutely beautiful and the undersides of the leaves as well are just stunning. So yeah, I'm so, so, so chuffed with this plant. As I say, this is another one that is non-toxic as well. So great if you've got pets. And how much was it? This one was 18 99 And to be honest, I don't know, I don't know enough about this plant to know whether or not it's a good size. Like I have got another little lipstick plant. I think it's a Radicans, but I've had that since it was a kind of in like a five centimetre pot. I've had it since it was tiny. So I don't quite know. I'll do a bit of digging, but I was, I was happy. I thought that, yeah, I thought that this was a fairly good price. So yeah, I'm really, really, really chuffed with what I got. And I would definitely go back and I am going to plan a trip back at some point. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm having so much fun making this little series and I'm really excited to kind of travel around different places, use it as an excuse to kind of explore the UK a bit more. As I say, if there's anywhere that you'd like to see, do let me know and I honestly will look into it and try and go. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video.